Good morning, Harry Craig. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I am here with my special guest, honey, a very dear friend of the morning show, honey, Miss Toya Carter Wright is here live in the studio. Good morning, Toya. Good morning. How you doing, baby? I'm blessed. Can't complain. No, you can't, honey. You're looking fabulous as always, Thank honey. You. And you know, honey, we're going to get straight on to it. Now, last night you did the show, honey, Untying the Knot. Mm-hmm. With your um, wonderful husband, Mr. Um, Mickey Memphis Wright. Mickey? <laughs> Mickey. Oh, I thought he said Mickey. No, Mickey. That's his name. <laughs> okay. Mickey Memphis Wright. And, um, you know, it was a very interesting show last night. You know, I mean, it was sad to me, you know, because I come to like you in um, Memphis. You know, from when I first moved here to Atlanta and met y'all, y'all seem to be a very nice couple and stuff. But now, honey, things are starting to shatter. Yeah. And that's why y'all want to show in time tonight. So now, there's something that you've been holding back on a lot. Toya. So kind of tell the audience what happened. What's going on with you and Mickey? Um, me and Mickey are in the process of a divorce. Oh. Um, we're separated. We've been separated for almost nine years. Um, I mean, nine months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we've been together for like seven years. Uh-huh. But I mean, we've been separated for nine months. I mean, everybody have problems in their relationship. Yeah, and true. Unfortunately, we are moving in two totally different directions. Yeah, now the show last night was very interesting, honey, because you know y'all was I mean separating everything. Y'all was separating the jewelry, the <laughs> cars, honey. I was surprised y'all didn't separate the clothes stuff. But people want to know, do you think um um Memphis felt some of the pressure from your previous relationship is one of the reasons why he kinda r- lashed out because on the show last night, he was saying, like was upsetting me, like he was blaming you kinda for his um demise because of the what went down with him and his previous relationship Miss K Michelle when she went out and lashed him out in the public. And he felt that you weren't there for him. I guess you weren't there to wipe every tear and so on and so forth. Talk about it. Um I wouldn't say that um he's feeling some kind of way because of my past or well, well, Wayne. I would I wouldn't say that. Like we never had any issues with him being insecure about Wayne at all. So That's what about the K Michelle then thing? Um what about it? Well, you know when he said when they were talking about like he was a little upset because I mean, you know, yeah, he did. He, I mean, Mickey's been blaming me forever for why? the whole for not being able to go and defend himself. You know, he had the opportunity to be a part of Love and Hip Hop, and I really didn't think it was a good look. You yeah. know, we had just got married. You know, we were happily in love. I just didn't. I feel like that would be going backwards, like to go on the show and be going back and forth with your ex. And he has been holding that over my head. It's like, you know, forever. Yeah. But it seems like he y'all blames both, me for y'all it. both done enough reality to kind of know that, like, you know, anytime you put your relationship in a public format like that, like, you know, like a reality show, it just mm-hmm. seems like it speeds up the expiration date of the relationship. Like, how come he couldn't, like, you know, you couldn't see the smoke in, in, the, in, the, in the mirror? I mean, putting your relationship out there on blast is definitely not a good idea. No, exactly. You know, I I, I, that's one of my big... I don't regret a lot of things in life, but that is one of the things that I regret. Well-